Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome to this edition of Shelf Talks. Today we will be commemorating Remembrance Day. This is an image of the 2021 Veterans Week poster that captures service, courage, and sacrifice at home, around the world, and across generations. Canadian military members have a long tradition of defending peace and helping others. This year's Veterans poster reflects several milestones that illustrate the proud legacy of service. I would encourage a visit to the website to read more about its composition. Similar to the poster is the book Everyday Heroes, edited by Jody Eddick, which features also the legacy. 20 military personnel at different periods of Canadian armed service from war to peacekeeping to those at home front share their story. This book offers a glimpse into the life of military service and its dedication. I recommend reading this book as one way to honor them. How much impact did the work of Dutch engineer Carl L. Norden and the pilots of the bomber mafia have on the shared goal to lessen human loss in times of conflict through precision bombing? International bestseller Malcolm Gladwell of The Tipping Point and Outliers continues his non judgmental examination of humanity and morals in his latest book, Bomber Mafia. The first part of the book focuses on the goal of dropping a bomb into a pickle barrel from 10,000 feet, but gave the team hope that future conflicts would be more humane through precision bombing that would target only infrastructure and industry and limit the loss of civilians and ground troops. As the book progresses, it is apparent that even with precision technologies, the decisions in leadership may greatly affect the efforts and new leadership change changed world history forever. This extraordinary history has not been shared with us in such a concise story. I'd recommend this book, not just as another important war history text, but also for its examination of how personalities of the players may greatly change the outcomes of the goal. Local author Victoria Kellerman had heard heartbreaking stories of her immigrant mother's Risa Schuber harsh childhood that took her as well as hundreds of thousands of other Polish families from their homes and into the labor camps of Siberia. Curious about her father, Victoria Kellman had her mother translate his journal and discovered Kaz also had parallel experience of surviving day to day in gulag camps under Stalin regime, beginning at the young age of 12. Yet Kaz uses his wits to survive years of hunger and displacement. This story of Kaz Kellerman and Risha Schuber is a long journey of pain and tears, but also raises the reader into a new understanding of this period of Polish history and how one family th thrived on hope, resourcefulness, and resilience. After extensive research and writing, Victoria Kellerman honors her parents' memory and shares their story with readers in the book, The Nine, Nine Lives of Kaz. These books are currently available to be placed on hold. And I'd like to invite you to visit Woodstock Public Library during the month of November for our Remembrance Day displays.